Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I am going to change this card a little bit. Um, my sister Yvonne, who lives in Ireland, she's coming over the end of February for her birthday and she asked if she could use this stamp. And I thought, oh, she likes this stamp. So I thought I'd make her a birthday card with it using this stamp. So I am going to make a 5x7 card. I have a 5x7 base, so that's 10 inches by 7 inches, scored at 5 inches, folded in half. I have two purple posy pieces at 6 and 5 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths. And I have two white pieces at six and a half by four and a half. I am putting a colour piece on the inside as well. Just to make it a little bit more special for my sister. Now, as she has indicated she likes this stamp, what I'm going to do is on my next stamping up order, I'm actually going to get it for her, but don't tell her, because she won't know. So, also I'm going to add the numbers 61, and I'm going to have them coming out of the cake, and I've cut a tiny little bit of silver foil card which I'm going to stick them out so they look like they're sticking out the cake. Right, you also need a bit of scrap for the flowers because we're going to cut out the three flowers. And I've also cut out a um, tag. This is from... Oh, painted poppies dies. It's from the painted poppy dies, so I've got one of them out for the sentiment. Right, to get started, we will need to stamp on this. We're going to stamp the word, uh, not the word, the cake, which I've got here. And Link it up. Right, and we're going to stamp that just down here to the right hand corner. Nice. Right, and then what we want to do, I'm actually going to get a bigger piece of scrap. Well, it's not scrap, it's another um, carpet I use. Right, and I'm just going to stamp the flowers, just so I can cut out the flowers. Actually, when you see this, Stampin' Up have, would have brought out the dies to go with this cake stand. Cake. Um, yeah, they're bringing out a set of dies. I think they're 25 or 27 pound. I'm not sure, but they've got dies coming out for this cake. Right, I'll let that dry and we'll do the sentiment put that straight and we're going to put that in the middle there yes with a great big wish for happiness and also going to stamp, couldn't figure out what I was looking for then, right, 
nice and clean. On the inside we're going to stamp Happy Birthday, which is also out of the set. And we're just going to stamp that in the middle, like that. Our next thing is to bring this back and we'll colour it all in afterwards but we need a mask on it and as I'd already got one I should put that on right I forgot my brushes hang on let me go and get my brush going to do is just put a little bit of ink around the just around the outside of the cake Tell by the light that's shining on how much is actually going on the card. my brush off which is fine put it away right now with the little dots that is in the pack stamp set which are there I am going to oh I do need this on because I want to stamp on my cake and I am just going round with the purple posy and just stamping dots all the way round I'm just doing it just so it's on the cake and off the cake. And there they are. Can you see that? Really makes that cake pop. Now what I'm also going to do with these dots is just stamp them over the happy birthday. Just for a bit of decoration really. That'll do there. That'll do that nicely there. And that is a bit straight that it's 
Just try and take the straightness off of that. There you are. Now we're going to colour these and we're going to colour them. Do these two pink and this one in purple posy. So we've got pink and purple posy and we need, I'm going to do it in gra leaves in granny apple green this time. So granny apple green just Cut all the leaves in. Where's my card? Yeah. Right, and this one, we're going to cut out the leaves in this part only because I'm actually going to cut these leaves out. On the other one, I didn't. And the reason I'm cutting these leaves out is so that I can hide the start of the 61 behind that flower and I need the leaves as well so I purple posy will be this flower which we will cut out doesn't matter if we go over the lines in this one because we're actually going to cut on the line All right, and I'm also going to go just round the edge on this one Because when you stick the flower on, you will see the edges of this one. So if it's coloured in, it won't matter. Right, and the others are just pink. So we'll just go around. And this one. Right. Um, now, I did do with rich raspberry <coughs> these little berry things and 
and these flowers. How oh, buds they are. And I did the leaves in, I did actually the leaves in the same colour as the buds but I knew I'd made a mistake on that one. There. Now what we have to do is colour out, cut out these flowers. Now I did cut them on the line, she says. Concentrating here. I've um have actually got nine cards to film. I don't know if I'll get more done today. I doubt it. And I'm trying to think of any of them that are not fussy cut. Oh yeah, I have got a couple that are die cut. Right, that will go on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Sorry about that. On top of there. Right. On this one, I actually cut out the two flowers together. Just made it a little bit easier than trying to cut them out individually. In fact, I think the dies, um, in the die set there is actually one there where the flowers cut out to get these flowers are actually cut out together Right, now 
with my black stamp and write marker pen I got the brush end and I went round all the edges with it now I have got it facing the back of it facing towards me simply because if I slip like that it goes on the back and not on the front I don't think I've ever done this where I haven't slipped and that helps to find the edges you know just in case you've chopped off the too much black do the same on this one goes that way around. Right. And what my plan is to so I've lost my numbers. <laughs> Found the six. Found the one. As you can guess, she'll be sixty one. And that will be up there. So the sixty one will be coming out the cake. There. Now what I need is my two pieces of silver foil. Oh, let's glue this. Can I not get this on? That's it. Right, and stick this inside the card. this on to have a bit more success getting it done first time
obviously by the time you see this it will be Yvonne's birthday she's coming over the 21st which is a Friday her birthday will be a Tuesday so you'll see this the 26th of February right now that needs dimensions So it beckons off. And we're going to place that just there. And we want, I can't see where my two silver foils are gone. Right, we're going to stick these flowers on. Now they need dimensionals on the back. I'm going to use mini ones. Oh, I'll turn my light down. We'll just pop that where it belongs on there and this one will have big one there and need to cut that in half Just to support the leaves. Not waste that, put that there. Right. Now, if that's going to go there, I want to glue this on there but I should glue it that way A little bit on the number one. You'd think I would have done a rerun, uh, you know, a practice run on this. They don't need to be so long. Well, they need dimensionals on the back. Right. Let's see if I can get a 
just These numbers are stamping up, they were uh, a retired set from stamping up. Um, I don't know when they retired, I found them on eBay when I first started card making. Oh, I'm going to cut that in half. And they came in a stamping up wallet. Like that and then that on top. I like that. <laughs> the people likes it. Telling everybody on the internet her age. She is actually a year and nineteen days younger than me. By the time you see this, my birthday's been and gone. Right, put the flower on top. This is working out a little bit better than I thought. Nice. Well, all we've got to do is add some gems. Now, on on the other one, I added pearls. I know I've got no purple bows, pearls, so I should just colour them. In colour three pearls in with my Highland Heather dark. I think it's easier with the brush end. you like that if you do give us a thumbs up 
Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.